Hi, hello and welcome back to the channel. Managing business meetings and appointments are important for any business. Odo has a separate module for managing appointments. So this helps all to create and manage appointments in an easy way and is integrated with calendar module. So order appointment module can be used for different business purposes to organize meetings or communication between the customer and the business. So it gives the customers a freedom to book meetings with you. They can select the slow, that is they can select the date, time of meeting. So let's see how we can manage online appointments in Odo 40. To make use of this online appointment feature, first you have to install it from the Odo apps. So from this dashboard, you can see our apps. And here you can search for the module. So you can see appointments. So when you have installed calendar module or website, you can find uh, that is you can create online appointments. So from calendar module, you can see here a menu added that is for managing online appointments. And when you open website, there also you can see. option to configure online appointments here below you can see that so you also can create a new appointment by just clicking on the create button so here you can see a form uh, where we can fill details like appointment type. So for what you are creating is online appointment. So from this form, we can define your scheduling rules and set your schedule policies. So under scheduling and activity, you can set the duration of this appointment. Like here, I can set to two, two hours. Then you can schedule the appointment at least one hour before or not after some days. Uh, so I want this appointment scheduled this before at least three hours before appointment and not after ten days. Okay. Then uh, it is also possible to add a uh, option for canceling this appointment. That is allow canceling this appointment. But for that also you can set time. That is you can only cancel this appointment two hours before. So this appointments work on any device in any time zone in any language. So you can set time zone for your appointment. Then you can fill the location. Then you can choose the assignment method. So this assignment method, uh, it is used to assign employees. So whether employees uh, need to be assigned by the customers or randomly assigned. So we can select as per requirement. So I'm choosing that uh, employees can be chosen by the customer. Then you can restrict this appointment to certain countries. That is, you can uh, only allow visitors from selected countries. And if you keep this field empty, you can allow all visitors uh, that is from every country. And below you can add staff details by clicking on add line. So you can add available employees for this appointment. Okay, you can uh, view the employee name, the working hours of the employee. So Odo allows the user to select available employees automatically and create new employees. So you can see uh, shareable appointment links with these employees. 
so you can copy this and you can embed it on your website or social medias and under the tab slots user can enter the day and time of appointments uh, that is we can design the slot so if you click on add line you can select a weekday and you can set the starting hour then again you can select another day Okay, so in this way, you can add weekdays and starting hours. So, okay, so that's how we add slots. Then we can add questions. That is, if the user wants to ask a question to be participant while creating an appointment, he can use, make use of this tab. So when you click on add line, you can select the question type, whether to ask in single line uh, text or radio or multi-line text or drop down. So like this way, you can create questions. Then we can manage messages. So this helps the user to attach a message here. That is, you can give an appointment introduction. Okay, so after adding introduction, uh, we can save this. Then if you want to set reminders uh, before the appointment, you can add that also from here. That is, if you want to notify uh, before the appointment, you can add reminders. And it's also possible to send SMS, text message, or email before appointment. Okay, so after creating the appointment, you can go to website from here and publish this appointment on website. Okay, now this appointment, online appointment is published. So here below again the time zone. So from here, the visitors of the website, that is our customers, can click on the available dates to know the available time. So here we can see um, the available dates. So when you click on a date, you can view the available time. Okay, so you can select time from there. So after selecting the date and time of appointment, you can see a confirmation page where you can confirm your details. So you can see appointment for a demo on Wednesday, July 7, 2021. And you can see the time here. So here we can enter the name, enter your name. Then you can select your country, then provide your email ID. So provide the phone number so that a text message reminder can be sent to you before your appointment. So the visitor, after ver verifying the personal details and appointment time, uh, now we can click on this confirm button that is confirm appointment so that you can confirm your appointment.
So on the on confirming the appointment, uh, the visitor can add uh, this event, this appointment to Google Calendar. Uh, that is all calendars. You can see option to add it to Outlook to Google Calendar. Okay, so you can see the appointment has been successfully booked. So you can view the time, date, uh, then duration of the appointment, then the attendees of this appointment. So you can see the customer's name and employee's name. Okay, so you can also view the description of this appointment. And if the customer wish to cancel or, or reschedule this appointment, you can just click on this button. Okay, so you can see the appointment is cancelled. Now we can uh, reschedule another appointment from here. So we can select the appointment type. Okay, mm, so if you wish to change the employee, that is customers have an option to change the employee. Uh, and you can also see the dot short description of this appointment. Okay, I have changed the time. And again, uh, you can provide your details. And confirm the one. Okay, so it is done. Now we can go back to our appointments module. So when you get into calendar module, you can view uh, the scheduled appointments. So here for this appointment type, that is appointment for demo, you can see one is scheduled. So when you click on that, you will be redirected to the calendar view where we can view all the meetings. Okay, so here you can see the created appointment uh, with Mark. So when you click on that, you can view the details of this appointment. So you can view the date, time, uh, total hours. Of the appointment that is total time of duration of the appointment then attendee status so attendee have accepted this then the responsible person and the attendees of this appointment so if uh, it's also possible to decline this appointment for that just click on this decline and if you want to edit this appointment just click on edit so you can see a form over we can see the meeting subject and if you are want to add more attendees to this uh, appointment this meeting you can add that from here then okay you can will starting time duration and here we can see the default reminders that we have set from uh, inside our online appointment. And if you wish to uh, change this, you can change that from here. Okay, you want to send email also. Then you can add your location. And if you wish to change the privacy of this appointment, you can do it from here. So I want it only visible to internal users. Then you can view all the invitations sent. So you can see invitation sent to Michelle Edwin Mark, which has been accepted. And we can click on the send email to send directly send an email. Okay, now we can save this. Then uh, from this calendar module, you can also analyze the meetings that is uh, here under reporting you can view all your online appointments and all appointments 
So when you go to online appointments reporting, you can analyze all your online appointments. So you can change the measure like if you want to do the duration, you can change it from here. Okay, and you can group this by uh, availability. Then you can add uh, filters like if you want to view my week, my meetings. So when you filter that this user can only view his meetings. Then we can uh, filter this by date. Then you can also view this online appointments report in different views, like we have line chart, pie chart, then we have calendar view and also pivot view.